Konnichiwa, me and this is Tsukuri, and you're watching Pokecast. Today's 10 minute first impression video is going to be on a PlayStation 4 game, and that is Loco Roco. I am so excited to do this video. Um, now, I know this game has been out for a while, but I went ahead and held out until the hard copies came out. And so this is the Asian hard copy, because this is a game I had to get the physical copy of. I just... I had to. Absolutely love this series. It was one of the series that I went through and decimated on the PSP. It's just an amazing series. I'm so happy to have this back and that we've got confirmation that Part 2 is coming out. Hopefully, Midnight Carnival will come out as well. As always, 10 minutes to play the game. First time playing the game, a version of, and I can't skip anything. Let's get that timer started. Timer's been started. And... Away we go. So basically, you're only allowed to use L and R. That's the only buttons you're allowed to use. Completely. And good luck. An amazing game. They have hidden things throughout the level. You have to do... Um, you got to find everything you need to... And it's just a lot of fun. Be warned, if you do play this game, there is some very catchy music. I recommend getting the soundtrack. Because it will be stuck in your head. And yes. <laughs> Basically, those are the evil ones. I want to take over the, the world. So you have to go and save your planet. <laughs> so yeah, you play as the world. <laughs> and that's where the game begins. You have to now go and save all your friends. Oh yeah, I am not going to get this. I am Mui Mui, Loco Roco's friend. Collect orange thingies to make yellow thingy grow. Find them all and lead them to the goal. Start. And literally this is all you do. And I am already regretting it because I'm going to have this music stuck in my head again forever. So you got to collect these. And that's how you make him grow. Okay. Okay, what was the button? Okay, give the circle button a quick press. This is where you can lose a lot of them. Hold it to do that. Okay, nothing hidden there. One thing is there's several different colors to, to actually find and collect. And, okay, there it is. Nope, not yet. Um, not only do you have to um, find them, but here's the cool thing. You get to choose who you want to go into the level with you at one point in the game. And depending on who you choose... Depending on what the type of music you get. No, 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 no. You found my friend, Mui Mui's. And something nice will happen. You collect uh, house pieces. And they are hidden everywhere. It is so annoying.
Ah, can't get up there. Got it. Good. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> can I need one more. If I can go back for him. Yay, there's another one. No, no, no! He's the last one I need to find. Thank you! Come on, yes. And that right there is the third hidden one. Now I just need to get to the end of the level with as many as I can get. Okay, good. To wait for everybody. There we are. Good. Anything black, basically, don't touch. Good, I'm at 19 still. Always check the walls, you know, because you never know when you're going to get... I'm going to say, I have to be at the end. <laughs> and there we are. Stage cleared. Now, did I get everything? No, I didn't. I missed something! Oh! Dang it! <laughs> I missed something. Yes, you will be coming back here a lot. You gotta find that last hidden thing. Welcome back. Okay, you did it. On to the next stage. Yahoo! Yahoo! You're not allowed to play here yet. Okay. Head game, yes, please. Okay, confirm. Oh, there we are. Okay. On to the next level. Okay, nothing yet. Darn, I thought there was something there. And... I totally missed like a hidden room or something. I know I did in the other level. Nope, okay. Nothing, all right. Good. 
good. I was gonna say, please come. I do not want to lose everybody. I hate it when that happens. <gasps> Oops, crap. I just got hit. I lost one. Now I won't have a choice. Nothing over there. And there goes my timer. Just what I'm getting into it. <laughs> okay. Like I said, this game is amazing. It's a, f a fantastic series that really um, tests your gaming. Yeah, uh, you know, because you got, like I said, you only have two buttons. That's all you have to control the game with. There is nothing else once you're playing the game. And it is amazing they were able to create a game like this. You have to go through the level. You have three things you're searching for. And you have the three different things you need to get and complete. Making it even harder because of all the hidden things. Not only that, then you have all the mini games that you can unlock. And man, there's just so much in this game. It's not super hard, but still challenging enough with all the hidden items and everything that it's the best way to describe it is if you've ever played Flowers, you know, the game isn't super hard, but there's uh, definitely some moments in the game which really challenges you and all the hidden little things you have to do. And that's kind of how this game is. There's way more hidden items in this game than there was in the other game, but you just have to go through and you have to get good at making sure that you can keep yourself alive and not actually lose anything like I did. Ugh, I hate it when that happens. And there's some levels that will be coming later that, yeah, they will put spikes everywhere. You know, it's like these guys purposely studied Buttville uh, or sorry, Planet Insectoid uh, from Earthworm Jim. I think I said it right. Um, that whole level is basically nothing but spikes. You know, it, it, there will be times in this game that, yeah, it will be brutal. It doesn't care. And it just it nicely coaxes you into the game with beautiful music. A really nice theme going. It's, oh, this is so beautiful. What the crap? You know, that's basically what will happen in this game. It's very deceiving. And that's why it's one of my all-time favorite games for the PSP. And I'm so happy to have this back. And I really hope that since we got confirmation we're going to be, you know, we will be getting part two. I really hope that they go ahead and release uh, Midnight Carnival as well. That way we have all three of the games. We don't really need the PS3 one. That one sucked. But... Hopefully they release all three of the main series because it would be just phenomenal to have all three back. And, oh, this game is going to drive me crazy. Because, yeah, I mean, it took me forever to find all the hidden items. And now because it's trophy-based, yay! I'm going to have no choice but to do that again. <laughs> Love it. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Tisa Kura saying ciao and sayonara.